He tells me to lay down. He reached across and started choking me. And he raped me. I didn't want to die. There was a complete vertical sensation. All the skin was ripped back. I was conscious when the tire went over me. I woke up in the hospital. My hair was red just because it was soaked with blood. I saw my neck for the first time when the doctor took the stitches out. People always make fun of my scars. The scars just remind me of how much I lost. Every time somebody stares or points or asks questions, it's just me reliving what happened that night. You know what the good thing is? These things can be fixed. You deserve to have the face back that God gave you. I want to be me again. For me to be able to give her back a normal appearance so she can grow up to be a normal and mature woman, that's all I need. I don't know if I can ever recover from that. But how has that impacted your role to be her mother? I thought I'd live like this for the rest of my life. When you're all done, what's the first thing you're going to do? I'm going to do some lying. My goal for after my surgery is to walk down the halls of my new junior high. All I want is a normal life. Make me look more like I used to. It's time for me to get back to living my life. So what do you think about starting seventh grade without this scar? I'm going to get through this. Her face, the doctor just did a wonderful job. Oh my God. I definitely believe in miracles now. She looks beautiful. I couldn't believe how amazing she looked. Oh my God, my baby, look at her. I feel like I'm finally the person that I want to be. This is the first day for Alyssa to start over again. And she will. With everything that's changed, you look fabulous. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Take the pain that you have suffered and turn it into such power. This is like closure for me. I'm happy because you changed my life. I'm so happy that you made the journey with me. Thank you. You're all time. And you're beautiful.